Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video, we are going to start with our deep learning series. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about neural network. What is actually the neural network? How it actually works behind? Uh, because behind every deep learning model, there is a neural network. How it actually works. So let's get started. Today, we are going to understand the conceptual part on the whiteboard. Uh, assume that we are given with this data. Uh, which is on our left hand side which is this one uh, we are given with uh, you think of that we are given with this data uh, area and bedroom and we want to build a deep learning model which can take these two values as input and can give price as output so this is our uh, basically the uh, aim of our deep learning model so assume that this these are my two input features area and bedroom this and this one is my, you can think of F1, this is my F2, and this is my target or output variable. So uh, assume that I want to create a deep learning model which takes this data as an input area and bedroom and gives me price as an output. So how neural network, uh, what kind of neural network will look like for this sort of problem? So neural network basically consists of three types of layers. Number one is the input layer, the second is the hidden layer, and the third is the output layer. So uh, let's get started with the input layer. So input, sorry. So input layer is basically consists of as many number of features we have. So in this case, in our uh, this present case, we have two type of features. One is area, and the second one is bedroom or you can say this is my F1, this is my F2. So these two can, uh, consist of my input layer. After that, there, there comes as a hidden layer of neurons. Uh, neuron is the smallest unit. You can think of, let me draw it with some another color uh, to make a distinction between it. So uh, let's say this one circle is my one neuron and uh, it can contain any number of neurons. So assume that this is my one, you can think of this as my one hidden layer of neurons. We can have any number of new, uh, any number of neurons in a hidden layer, as well as we can have any number of hidden layer in any neural network. But in, in our case, for the simplicity purpose, we are just going to keep one hidden layer of let's say three neurons. So how it will work? So this input, this uh, this input variable will be given to each of the neuron, these, all of these three neurons. The same way this will be given to each of the neuron. Now these neurons will do some sort of calculation because this is our first introductory video. You can assume that uh, these as a black box that you are giving some input to this and they are producing some output and passes that output to the next layer. Uh, inside, what is happening inside a neuron, we will discuss in our next video. So you can think of that, I have given my area and bedroom to these neurons and these neurons does some sort of calculation. And after that, they are doing some, they are producing some output. And for the simplicity purpose, uh, what I am going to do is, uh, I'm going to take uh, my uh, the next layer as an output layer. So since we are going to uh, have output only as one variable, like only the price for it, so it will be connected something like this. So this will be my output layer. And it will give me the price of my house. And these are my input layer. This is my hidden layer. This is how, this is the simplest uh, form of the neural network. In this hidden layer, we have three neurons. We can have any number of neurons. First thing, the second thing is that we can have any number of hidden layers in our uh, neural network. This is how basically uh, a neural network works. We give the input, uh, input features to the neural uh, layers of, uh, layers of neuron. Uh, and then that, that layer of neuron does some calculation and passes the information to the next layer. 
at the next layer, we can have output layer as well as another in uh, sorry another hidden layer as well. So uh, the output is passed to the next layer and so on. It goes till the last of the last layer, which is going to be our output layer. So this is basically how a neural network works. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Um, see you in the next video.